Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a first impression on the new Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Setting Powder in the color Medium Deep. Um, this came out last week, I believe. I'm not positive, but I think it came out last week. Um, and I purchased it last week, either Friday or Saturday, and it came this week. Thursday. Um, I haven't gone anywhere. I've just been going to class and work and I haven't worn any makeup. So today I'm going out and I decided to try this out. Um, and I thought I'd make a video of it, see what it's like. Um, so I bought this with intentions on using it to highlight. Um, we'll see if it can set as well. I don't know. Um, set like my whole face overall, but I bought it with intentions on using it um, for highlighting purposes. Um, I did have their translucent setting powder in the color translucent, um, and when I first got it, I thought that it was pretty good, but then after, like, maybe, like, the second or third time that I wore it, I realized that, like, it was just way too, like, white, like, I, I looked like a ghost, or less, at least I felt like I looked like a ghost, um, other people, I would co get compliments on my makeup from other people, but I felt like that I looked like a ghost. I don't like, like, a too harsh, um, highlight. I like it to be, you know, like, just nice and subtle, kind of natural looking. So, yeah. Um, do not mind the way that I look. I will come back after, um, like, not looking a hot mess. But, yeah. So, I already primed, put my foundation on, did my eyebrows, um, so we're just going to go straight in with concealer. Um, I'm using the NYX Gotcha Covered Total Coverage Concealer, yeah, in the color Sand, Sand Sable. Drink it away, I tried to put a one in the This is it um, with just my highlight on. I don't know how I feel about setting powder yet because um, 
when I first put it on, it was like lighter than me. I don't know, I kind of just feel like I look I feel like maybe, I don't know, maybe I should have used a lighter concealer, I guess, I don't know, I don't know, like it's very natural looking, um, but maybe I should have highlighted with a lighter concealer, because I know this one is maybe like, Just like a shade lighter than me um, and maybe I needed to use a couple of shades lighter than me if I wanted to use this um, I don't know um, I'll be back when I am done with the rest of my makeup and then getting ready and then I will let you guys know how I feel about it all right so I'm back with my face finished after I um, highlighted, I just contoured, I put on a little bit of highlighter and some mascara, that's pretty much it. And then I set the places that I didn't already set with powder, with the um, translucent powder. So after I contoured, I know before I was like kind of uh, skeptical about it, um, but after I contoured, I definitely love it. Um, I feel like the contour brought it out more because before I kind of felt like I just looked all like one color I didn't feel like it was brightening my eyes but after I contoured it definitely I definitely noticed that it is um I feel like the concealer that I used today was more for like a natural look um if I was going for something more dramatic I would definitely use a lighter concealer when using the translucent powder because the translucent powder is colored it kind of made my concealer, even though it was lighter than my skin tone, it kind of just made it my skin tone, to be completely honest. Like, it might be a tad bit lighter than my normal skin tone, but it just kind of made it all, like, one, but the contour brought it out. But if I was going for something more dramatic and I wanted a brighter under eye, then I would use a lighter concealer. Um, but... I love it. Um, if you guys have used the Laura Mercier translucent powder and just like translucent before they came out with this one, then you know that it's amazing. Um, and this one is exactly the same. It's just the color. Um, yeah, so I absolutely love it. I feel like it looks so nice. It didn't crease. It feels amazing. So yeah. Um, so while I was finishing my makeup, I realized that I haven't been on YouTube since I cut my hair off. Um, so I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about that. I cut my hair off December 11th and today, I think December 11th. Yeah, December 11th and today is February 11th. So it's been two months since I've cut my hair. Um, when I first cut my hair, I kind of just did like a brush cut and now it's grown out some. Um, I get the side shaved. I need it. Well, I mean, it's not that bad. It's not that bad right now, but I usually have it shorter. It's like a legitimate brush cut. Like right now, I still have kind of like some hair. I need it to get, I need to get it cut again. Um, so what I do is I just cut from here. Um, I have like a line like a part that goes through the whole thing you can see it on this side you can't really see it on the other side um, and then the back is like cut in a V um, and then my hair is blue again when I first cut it it was just regular colored um, I just dyed it three weeks ago I want to say I bleached it and then I had dyed it like an icy blue but when I dyed it the icy blue it was like it was not all one color. I had like some icy blue, then I had some like dark blue, then I had some like greenish yellow blue color. Like it looked cute, don't get me wrong, but it was too many colors for me. So I just went back over it with what color did I go with? What color did I use? I used the Ion Color Brilliance. 
I think it's just the color blue. At first I used shark blue because I wanted I wanted it to be like a nice at um a nice like icy ash blue. Um but yeah that didn't work out. So I just went over it with the regular blue. And it was a little bit darker than this. I did that two weeks ago. Um it was a little bit darker than this. Since then it's faded, but I like the color that it is now. And yeah, and then also I haven't been on since I got my nose pierced, but this is reset. I just got it pierced Saturday. It's set, or I got it pierced last Saturday, Saturday today. I've only had it for a week. And yeah, if you guys want to know like the pain scale, it seems about like a 4 out of 10. Um, it wasn't really that bad. I cried naturally. It just happens because of the way your nose is connected to your tear ducts. The worst part was when he put the jewelry in. But after that, I went home that night, cleaned it, like twisted it around. It was fine. It's fine now, like completely fine. Like it doesn't hurt at all. Um, but yeah, so let me know what video you guys would like to see next, whether it be makeup or maybe something with my hair. I don't know. You guys let me know. Um, yeah, so like this video and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.